If you could sum up driven in one word, what would it be? Driven. <laughs> 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 um, is that actually, yeah, driven. Yeah, just driven. That's it, yeah. Because that's what we are. We're determined to do well, we're determined to give a good service, and we're determined to build world-class facilities. We all definitely have a passion, so either for motorsport, for good design, for F1, trying to produce the best visuals we can, we're all passionate. We find new ways of doing things and develop new methods to do things better, do it faster, do it, do it more effectively for our clients. Hi, I'm Ben Wilshire, Managing Director at Driven International. I run the day-to-day -day design team and all of our projects and clients. So yeah, I oversee everything we're doing in the design office from all of the detail to liaising with clients to liaising with suppliers and uh, delivering our projects. So we are a design and engineering firm, um, but we focus very much on motorsport and automotive venues. Um, we've carved out a real niche in that sector. But we also, being a design and engineering firm, we also work in the sports and leisure sector as well. So yeah, we've got a team of architects, a team of engineers, um, and we work all over the world um, designing these race tracks, automotive test tracks, and uh, also these sports and leisure facilities. Yeah, we design everything that, that's driving related. So whether that be a Formula One track or a karting circuit or a test track for a manufacturer, anything driving related or automotive related, then, then we design it. We've really been um, uh, successful in using simulation tools over the last five years. So all of our tracks, all of our buildings are developed in complete virtual reality. So anyone can drive a track uh, in virtual reality before it's built and that's something that we've really accelerated uh, our learning curve on and excelled at in the industry um, and I think that's been recognised um, across the sector. So that's something that we really, you know, is a real USP and also the fact that we can design everything from the track, the civil engineering and the architecture with our team uh, here in the UK. It's really interesting when we receive an inquiry for a, a new racetrack. Um, we're dealing with different levels of understanding. Um, some of our customers might be property developers, some of our customers might be existing circuit owners and therefore they have a much uh, better understanding of perhaps what's involved in the running of a day-to-day -day track. So it's a real mix. For us it's really important to uh, take uh, any inquiry as seriously uh, as we can, um, understand what the customer is looking to do, so we want to you know, understand what their end goals are, what their visions are. So we spend quite a lot of time asking questions, going through a briefing process, you know, what type of track do you want to build, what are the safety requirements, what are the licenses that, you, that you're looking to hold for that track, how much land do you have, what's the time scales, what's the budget. And so we'll spend, I think, a lot of time from our side asking questions and listening um, to really what the customer wants to build. And then that starts to formulate a design brief. And we spend a lot of time writing up the design brief and putting images in to communicate back to the customer that we've understood what they want to do. Uh, my name is Graham Nichols and I'm the principal architect at Driven International. So when we're moving from the briefing stage to sketching, uh, we'll have the list of requirements from the client, which are usually quite sort of factual. Things like how long does the track need to be? Um, you know, other components to the track like rallycross, motocross, a drag strip. The initial sketch option stage is really all about exploring the different ways that components of the site can fit together and finding the best and most efficient way they can, they can work. And it's a really important part of the process. We often do hand sketching when we're presenting to, to clients in the early stages. Um, more recently with COVID and remote working, we've been using Wacom tablets to, to explore this, which actually works really well because we can just share our screen with our clients and, and draw in real time. My name is Dan Selby. I am the track design technician for Driven International. 
So track design essentially is taking a site um, of which is provided by the client, um, starting off with that very blank canvas and uh, you know, one by one applying the, the basic track philosophies to it. So um, first of which is usually your, your paddock area, your pit building, which then designs it, itself in terms of the start finish straight. And then from there, it's, it's trying to apply um, the best possible racetrack solution for the client, which will be exciting um, as much as it is safe, essentially. I'm Jack from Driven. I've recently become the visualisation lead of Driven, so I basically deal with any of the visualisation parts of the business that involve simulation, architectural renderings, CGI renderings, um, even all the way up to like game engines. So CAD testing, the way we use that term within Driven, we basically would take either something that is a concept design, it could even be a sketch, but it could also be an engineering design, so a finished engineering design where we've modelled the whole site in CAD. We will bring it into our 3D modelling software of choice. We import it into our game engine, import a car and a track, and then we basically test our tracks and iterate them based off of the way the driver feel. My name is Karun Chandok and I'm a driver consultant to Driven International. The driver and loop simulator is a fantastic way to experience driving a circuit which exists only really in our own minds in a fictional world or on a CAD drawing. And there's one thing to look at a drawing of a circuit on a computer screen in 2D or on a piece of paper, but there's a whole other element when you drive it physically. So once we've finished our designs, we're there to support customers all the way through to building the track um, or the building or the site, whatever it is we've designed. Um, because we're working in lots of different countries, there's different regulations, different fire regulations. We create a package that's um, been designed in conjunction with a local engineering firm to make sure that we've uh, integrated any local standards as much as we possibly can during our design process. Once we hand over the design, we move into a support role, so a technical support role, do site visits, we can provide people to be on site full time to supervise the work and support the builders. And really we just handhold the customer all the way through until the construction is finished and you can operate the facility. <laughs>